Good morning, my artist friends. Welcome back from spring break. I hope you all had a wonderful and restful time. Today, we are going to pick up where we left off a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, we learned about how to draw caterpillars. And today, we're going to learn about how to draw butterflies. As we're drawing our butterflies, one of the most important things to remember is that butterflies are symmetrical. Symmetrical. Let's say that word together. Symmetrical. The word symmetrical means the same on both sides. If you look at this butterfly image behind me, you can see that the wing on one side looks exactly like the wing on the other side. And that if you were to fold it over, each wing would perfectly cover itself without any space left over. That's because it is symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. So to help us with this, the first thing that we're going to do before we even start drawing is we're gonna put some lines on our paper to help guide us. For this, you might want a ruler or even just a book or an envelope or something with a hard edge that you can trace. This is the shape we wanna start with before you even begin your drawing on your paper. If you don't have a ruler or if you don't feel like measuring, one easy way to get this is by tracing a credit card or a note card four times next to each other on your paper. Okay, and now that you have your quadrant on your paper, we are ready to get started with our butterfly drawings. All right, so now that I have my quadrant or my grid, the first thing we're gonna do is make a head and a body for my butterfly. And I started it a little too high the last time, so I put it right in the middle. Now I'm gonna make one upper wing and the exact same on the other side because it's symmetrical, one lower portion of the wing and the same on the other side because it's symmetrical. Same with the patterns. Whatever I do on one side, I do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And from this point, I'm speeding up the video a lot because I think you can do this part without my step-by-step -step instructions. This is just you putting your own details and your own patterns and making sure you mirror them on the opposite side. And then of course, the fun part, you can add whatever colors you want once all the shapes are outlined, kind of like this. And there you have it, my friends. That's how you can make your own butterfly drawings. Now, just like I always say, yours doesn't have to look anything like mine. Butterflies come in lots of different sizes and shapes and colors and patterns. If you would like to be inspired by some butterflies that you've seen, or just with your own imagination, you have the creative freedom to do that. Maybe you wanna make a rainbow butterfly. Maybe you wanna make a butterfly with hearts and stars on its wings. All of those are great ideas. I'm excited to see what kind of butterflies you make. When you're finished, click that add response button and you can upload a photo or a video of your work with me. Have a wonderful time creating and I can't wait to see what you made.